But I want to go back to something here. I want to go back to something here. Do you remember a few years ago when it was put out there that Giannis turned down summer invitations from Durant, LeBron, I think even Kawhi, Team Nike, the Team Nike boys that all fraternize and practice in the summer together. And Giannis turned it down. I think we all praised him at the time for not fraternizing with Team Nike. I know I did. And I I got the idea of he didn't want to become friends with these guys because it would weaken his competitiveness towards them. I understood that concept. And at the time, I was like, yeah, man, that's dope. I like that. He cut different, right? But what he passed on was the knowledge of how the elites train behind closed doors. It's one thing to put in the work, but is it the right work? If you're getting bad reps, say, at the free throw line and with your three ball, it obviously does you no good. And I think Giannis could have really benefited from being around those guys and seeing up close the details of how they put in work. I could almost guarantee you his shot would not look like what it is right now if he spent summers with Durant and LeBron and those guys that work out together. It just by osmosis, like there's there's little details and there's little things that you pick up even if you don't know you're picking it up. But I guarantee you it would have been tweaked. So yeah, at the time, again, I praised it. I think we're all tired of the AAU type fraternizing amongst these stars, but it turns out that I think he really needed it. I think Giannis really could have used that knowledge and to be around those guys because whoever is guiding him now and overseeing his workouts, it ain't it. It ain't it. You know, the, the development has not happened. Again, if he was in there with those guys in the summer, it would have forced him to add to his bag. Maybe that will change moving forward. As far as the Slim Reaper goes, I don't have a lot to say. I mean, why explain what's already understood? The best score ever. And he reminded us of it last night. My question is, what is the cost of playing the whole game? 48 minutes? Hard minute, like in a playoff game like that, you know, did you see Reggie Miller tweeted out after the game? He proposed the idea of resting Durant and Harden in game six and just getting ready for game seven. Game six is Thursday. Honestly, I like it. I like it, but I don't think the NBA would stand for it. More importantly, I don't think Durant would sit. I don't don't think you could hold him out. I think he wants to go. So what more realistically what happens is is you see how it goes and you pull the plug quick. If you're Steve Nash, you roll them out there, right? Bucks go up, you know, 17, 18 points. I, I say that and we, they're just coming off a comeback from 17 and 18. So it's tough to, to sell that maybe to his players. But if the Bucks jump all over them early, you pull back. You pull back and you, and you start to rest them. I think that that's how they play it. But in reality, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter because the series is over. The series is over. Listen to Giannis. Well, uh, what, what could uh, done better on KD? Uh, oh man, um, we've been, you, you've been around us like a, a long time. What do you What do you think? Let's have a conversation. Uh, the first two things that come to mind is you could have guarded him. Me personally. Yes. Okay. What else? What's the second? The second idea would be to double the ball out of his hands. Oh, man. Oh, I don't know, man. Just keep making it tough. Uh, obviously, one of the best scorers to ever play the game. Um, it's it's kind of it's tough. It's tough. You know, like, he, he's the best. He's the best player in the world right now. And uh, we got we to gotta beat him as a team. We got to guard him as a team. We got to make him... Um, make tough shots like tonight, uh, and we just gotta keep doing our job, and hopefully, like he, hopefully, he's gonna miss. He just conceded the series. I really like Giannis. I know I've been I've been harsh with him lately, and you know you gotta hold him to higher standards. He's a two time MVP. I d- don't get this twisted. I really like Giannis, but we're seeing some flaws, and we're seeing him take some lumps, and that's how you get better here. But right, he's almost too transparent. Again, <laughs> learn from the, from Nike boys themselves. And LeBron himself, like you, you just can't say that stuff in the middle of a series before it's over. It, it, it just, it, to me, that, that was it. When I heard that, I was like, oh, it's done. I don't, I don't care who's playing for the Nets, right? 
And then, you know, one thing I would point out, as you heard in that interview, is I understand the switching, the matchups and stuff like that. But Giannis was just named first team all defense. And he didn't take one defensive possession on Durant down the stretch. I don't know. You know, Giannis's story, his legacy is far from set. But it, it, it's taken an interesting turn here about halfway through, isn't it? And it's like a turning point where if I, I spoke about it about a week week ago, right? Like, is he going to grow from this or is he going to just keep beating his head against the wall? Because your strength is your weakness. It, it's very much like Russell Westbrook, right? His all gas, no brakes, strong-willed, kind of hard-headed mentality. Is that going to work against him developing at this stage in his career? But I think the series is over once I heard that, you know what I mean? And so we'll see how it goes. I think the question for the Nets is, though, Nash, albeit maybe having to because of the injuries, at some point it's going to catch up to them. Whether it's in the Eastern Conference Finals or the Finals, you can't keep rolling Durant out for 45, 48 minutes and expect him to get all the way through these playoffs. So, And I'm not saying he's going to get hurt. Knock on wood that he doesn't. I'm just saying he's not going to be as efficient at some point here. It's going to cost him in just his game. 